so uh, let's get this week started the right way and let's move. And then obviously this whirlwind of our demanding schedules, recognizing the crucial importance of me time absolutely becomes paramount. Now, it's time to devote a precious hour or even less to just revitalizing me time workouts. And this one's expertly guided by personal trainer Ashley Sherwood in the building. And look at this queen <laughs> looking shredded. The striations are there. The eight pack is coming through. You you got a comp coming up, right? Yes. Ah, I thought so. You, I've, never seen you, I've never seen you look this incredible. I mean, you've always glowed. You've always had an incredible personality, but whoa, the aesthetics are just up there. How's the, how's the work been? Uh, it's been, it's been very, hard, very hard, but it, it's very nice to obviously get the benefits, but you're always tired most of the time. Okay. But yeah, it feels amazing. Yeah. All right, well, let's keep the amazing going. This is a me time workout, so Mzanzi is definitely going to be inspired by this vessel over here. So let's give them a reason to move even more, okay? Absolutely. What are we doing? We're just starting off with some basic mobility stretches. So obviously, you want to feel a bit accomplished with your mobility. Yes. So we're just going to start off with little pike holds. Ooh, okay. Stretching out the hams. So I see you've got a, a keeping a neutral spine, yes, right? Okay. Spine with the chest up and you'll feel a stretch nice in the back of the leg. Oh yeah, all the rust is coming off right now, Mzanzi. <laughs> if you got up to nothing this weekend, then you definitely want to move and if you did do something and you may be a bit sore, I think this workout's definitely going to be able to assist you right now. Oh, the hemis, the little bit of the calves as well behind yes. the knee, even the glute working Everything, here. I love yeah. it. Okay, and then from there we're going to go into a lunge. Alright. Arms up and all you're going to do is just focus on stretching to the side, oh. opposite side as well. Oh my word, okay, this, this, <laughs> this part of the body, also lots of rust. We're talking about like intercostals here, Everything the core. Well, yeah. Whoa, that midline, this is incredible stuff. And also in the lats, I'm feeling it too. So <laughs> getting a good stretch on you, Mzanzi, you definitely want to join in on this one. Oh, I'm telling you, whether you move or not, Oh, you're going to benefit from this. Definitely feeling that, wow. And then just rocking a little bit forward, giving it a bit of a stretch, you'll feel it all the way along the quad. <sighs> Opening up the hips here. Back. Here we go. And just straighten the leg. You can use your hands to assist you for this one. And then coming up again. Oh, wow. This almost feels like a little bit of like a flossing sort of a vibe, mm, right? Basically just oiling the body a little bit. <laughs> like that. those at a rusty weekend. <laughs> nice. And movement really is key. I found that on days like this, especially when you're feeling like groggy or tired or run down or rusty, the movement, weirdly enough, gets you out of the rut, yeah, right? You feel also a bit accomplished because you're obviously balancing out yourself as well. Yes. Uh, and of course, Carry on with this, balance this with, I guess, some, some practical movements like some gymming, and then you're on the road to looking like Ashley over here. <laughs> Simple as that. Definitely. <laughs> well, all it is is consistency and just also being gentle with yourself. And obviously with it being a me-time workout, right, how important is working out for you when it comes to, like, reconnecting? Is that when you're checking in with yourself too? All the time. I'm having conversations all the time with myself. I'm like, you can do this, it's okay. Your own hype girl. Your own hype girl. Because <laughs> sometimes we are obviously quite negative oh, with ourselves. Wow. But when, once you do, a, obviously, a workout, you get that endorphins and you feel so positive as well after that. Yeah, so. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a crazy workout where you take over the world, right? Something like this can give you that same release. Definitely. So I think, Mzanzi, again, if you are looking for some me time, you're feeling that burn or you feeling like you don't have energy, believe it or not, that moving will give you your power and your energy back. And like Ashley just mentioned now, you can capitalize on those endorphins that potentially get released with this one too and just feel accomplished and empowered by doing something right. Yes. Like that. Yes. What's next? From here, we're just going to focus on some shoulder taps just to get Ooh, the abs nice. burning. And I notice your hips don't move at all. Mm, nice That's obviously easy. elite levels, right? Uh, we, well, a little bit. Us normal, mere human beings, we might have a little bit of a sway in the hip, I'm sure. Just make sure to keep the tummy nice and tucked and then you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> all right, I got you. With, it, with regards to like your sort of rep schemes or time on all of these moves, how much time are you spending on each of these sort of uh, flows that you're doing right now? About maybe 30 to 45 seconds, even and out and then obviously change if it's obviously opposite sides. Ooh, okay, okay, nice. So from here, what you're going to do is just focus on giving that a little bit of a walk. Oof. There we go. And getting a bit of that calf stretched out yes. as well. Nice, I can Not definitely feel that. anything inside. <laughs> yeah, we're getting every part of the body, all parts of the muscles. I love this and it's really efficient that with each exercise, it feels like we're doing more than one part of the body. We're getting stimulation on yes. like a few zones, yep. which is giving us great bang for our okay. buck. I love this. Just here and then stretching out, bending the knees. There we go. Oh, so it's almost like getting into a pike downward dog. Yes. Stretching out the back. And again, that flossing technique's allowing me to just get more and more range every time mm. we do this rep. So actually coming through with the goods this morning. <laughs> yes, please. Oh. All right, and just coming forward. 
Cool, this is very simple. Just to open up the hip flexors and it's all about balance. So be very gentle with yourself doing this and just rock around. Okay, let's go. There we go. Cool, there we go. You can feel that one. All right. Also getting some stimulation with the core here, getting my proprioception, getting the balance going on as well. So getting everything sort of charged, focused, and geared up for the week, this is absolutely perfect. This is something I think you could possibly even do every day, right? Yes, very simple. You can oh. do it simply just coming out of bed. There we go. Maybe even on the bed. If it's <laughs> not too soft and you don't get sucked back into it, then get up right now and start moving with us. I'm already feeling this. And the leg that's actually um, on the ground, the stabilizer is starting to work, work a little bit as well, yeah. Very sneaky. Feeling that indeed, of course, from Zanzi. This is, as you show it, coming through with something great to involve me time, to empower yourself. And of course, if you want to look anything like this, then reach out to, obviously, we're wishing another with the best of luck for your comp. You've got three weeks left. Yes. You're looking like you're ready there. You're looking <laughs> like you won this thing. So I don't even need to wish you luck. But if you want to just replicate any of this, guys, find her online. She has incredible workouts, incredible guidance into looking like a champ. Beyond. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was absolutely That's awesome. It. Love it. That's how you do your Monday endorphin rush. Booyah. Yes.